I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this version, look for links below the video to a lesson playlist and a player reference so that you can follow along. I like to play at Mahjong time. They have tables that have an eight point minimum, which equates to three fawn. So that's what we're gonna look for in this game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. Hong Kong Mahjong is played in rounds. One for each seat wind, east, south, west, and north. So for this game, we're going to say that it is the east round that could come into play if somebody has a potential for a pung of the east wind. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, southwest and north will get 13 each. Once I deal the tiles, we'll look at each player's hand and see where we can find three fawn potential. Everybody has their tiles. So let's see what we can do for east. Look at all those cracks. Potential chow, or maybe potential chow here. There's a potential pung or chow. Chow, pung. We do have a chow here. All chow in mixed suits is only one fawn. I would not mix suits. So we're gonna have to sacrifice these. I would start by discarding the three seven and try to collect cracks. Cracks and honors. That'd be the quickest way to three fawn for this player. They have only one pair. So that's why chows probably would be best. Chows in a suit. Let's see what we can do for south. They have two pair, north and six cracks. They have mo more cracks than they do dots and bams. So I think what I would probably do, hold the one nine. We have a nine here. If we get more ones and nines, maybe we could play honors, but I'd say most likely half flush with cracks. I would start by discarding the bams. Let's see what we can do for west. They have their own flower, three flower. This is seat one, seat two, seat three, seat four, east, south, west, north. They have their own flowers, so they get a fawn for that. We're gonna take a replacement from the back of the wall. They've got a pair in there. I'd say half flesh dragon pung. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. So if we get three of a kind of that, that's gonna give them score. So I think I would start by discarding the dots and see what happens. Let's look at north. All singles, oh man, that's gonna hurt. Oh, they do have a couple dragons, but oh man, they're, they're in trouble. They have potential for all chow, but all chow is only one fawn. They have no flowers right now, as with east and south, they don't have any flowers. So there is a fawn called no flower fawn. So right now, these players have a fawn even this player, because they have their own flower. So the problem with that is the minute you draw a flower that's not yours, you lose the no flower fawn. So since we have dots and bams, there's chow potential, equal chow potential in there. So I think we'll have to wait and see what happens. Let's start by discarding the three dot and see where this goes. Nobody can take the three dot, so we'll draw. Eight crack, that would be a keeper if we're playing half flush with cracks. 
let's discard the three bam. Now up here, three bam, we could pong, let's pong. Let's see here. If I'm over here, the player to my left, pong. Two dot. Two dot, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw north. Okay, that's their seat. So let's discard the five crack. Five crack, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw two dot, discard. Drawing four south, four dot, we really don't need that. Drawing for west, east, that could help them get to a half flush. Let's discard the seven dot. Seven dot, nobody can take, so we're gonna draw. Oh, seven bam, that's nice. Potential chow, potential chow. There's a chow right there, six, seven, eight. Let's discard the three crack. And draw four east. Now, here, we could actually chow. Let's chow. Chow. We'll discard the seven dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Eight bam. So here we have a pair, pair, pair. If we get one more pair, we could switch to all pung. All pung is three of a kind, all three of a kind. And you can mix suits with all pung because all pung is three fawn. So four bam was thrown, nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw two bam, that's a keeper. We want more bams. Let's discard this nine crack, nine crack. We're gonna pung it right here. We can discard the one bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Nine bam. Not helpful. We'll discard it. Nine bam. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw for west. Five dot. Drawing for. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, they have more bams than they do dots. We need to get three fawns somewhere. Half flesh is the best way to go. Four bam. That is good because now we have three potential chows. One, two, three. Let's discard the one crack. Nobody can take the one crack, so we're going to draw for east. South, we'll keep that for half flesh potential. Discarding the four bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw four south. Five dot, discard. And we're going to draw for west. Four crack, that's a pair. Let's keep it. We'll see. Five crack. They have a pung of three bams out. If they pair up again, we could switch them to all pung, kind of like with what's happening here. But really, to play all pung, you should have at least four pair. Let's draw four north. One dot, no. That would be a discard for them. Drawing for east, six dot. We're gonna draw now four south. We need cracks. No, three dot. Okay, drawing for west. Oh my gosh, they got a pung. So I'm thinking we should switch them to all pung. Since there's a one bam out, let's discard the one bam and play all pung. We need to pair up. So one bam was thrown, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw for north, eight crack. And nobody can take it, so we will draw for east. We just got through the second wall. We're going into the third wall.
four dot. We want cracks or pair these up. We're going to draw for south, two crack. That's what they want. They need cracks and honors. Let's discard the one dot. And we can draw for west. East, they paired up. Oh man, that's good. Let's see, nine bams out. Let's throw that. We're ready to pung. Well, we can Kong here, but we need to Pung here and here. Since East is the wind of the round and, and the white dragon can bring a fawn for you, we would have one, two more potential fawn. All Pung is three fawns, so this would end up being a five fawn hand if we can make it work. Four to five fawn, because we still need a pair in here. So we have three, four, four, four. Okay. We're going to draw up here. We can chow. Chow, seven, eight, nine. And let's get rid of the two dot. Nobody can take two dots, so we'll draw for east. Oh, seven, bam. No, we need cracks. We're going to draw here. Six, bam. Drawing for west. They got a south. None are out yet. Let's discard the two bam. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw six crack. That would be a discard. Getting dangerous because we're going to chow. They have three sets. Of cracks out. That is called Gao Xiong, nine showing. So that is a warning that they could be in one suit. In this case, they're not. We'll discard the five bam. Okay, nobody can take that, so we'll draw for south. Red. We can keep that and get rid of the offsuit tiles. Let's get rid of the nine dot. And we can draw for west. Three dot. That's out. That four bam is a good discard too. Let's draw four north. One bam. Okay, that's a keeper. We want bams. So there's potential chows all in here. Nine dots been thrown, so let's throw that. And we can draw for east. They got a four flower. That is not their flower, so they just lost that no flower fawn. Woo, but they got a keeper. Two, four. So we can get rid of that six bam. And they can maybe chow here and be left with a pair. Neither of these are out. Six bam was thrown. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. One dot. Drawing for west. Six bam. We, we need to pair up. Six bam was thrown. Up here, we can't take it. We need a five bam or an eight bam. Five crack, that's no good for them. So down here, nobody can take the five crack, so we're going to draw. Two dot. Drawing for south, one dot. Drawing for west. Oh, they paired up. Nice. Okay, we're going to get rid of this four bam. So they're ready to pung here. But everybody holds those honors, see, up here? It's going to be hard for them to get there. We're going to draw. Ah, six crack. Six crack. That would be Pung for South. So we can get rid of the offsuit bands for South. And we're going to draw four west, three dot. And now we can draw up here for north. Green dragon, that's a helpful tile right there. We can discard a four dot for them and draw for east, six dot. Drawing for south, five crack would be a keeper. Now we can discard this eight band, and they're cleared to one suit with honors. Potential chow in here, 
here, potential Pung. We're going to have to start getting rid of these honors. Let's draw. Two bam. No takers. We're going to draw. Eight dot. Drawing for east. Nine dot. Drawing for south. Five bam. Nobody can take a five bam from south. You can't chow from the player across from you, only from the player on your left. So we're going to draw four west, five dot. Drawing for north, oh, seven dot. Drawing for east, that is a keeper. Two, three, four. Now we need to pick a tile here, west or south, either one would be fine because there are none out. So let's discard the south. South, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw four south. Oh, they got a south, huh? <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Let's discard the south. There's only four of every tile. We're gonna draw for west. Seven crack, let's discard the south. and draw here. White dragon. We can discard the six dot. That's not helping them at all. And we're kind of getting to where the rubber is going to meet the road with these honors. Let's draw seven bam. Drawing for south, seven dot. Drawing for west, flower, four flower. That's not helpful for them. Eight dot. Okay, we're going to draw for north. Two bam, that's a keeper. So now we have number tiles here, much more flexible than these. So let's go ahead and discard the north. And we're going to pung. Pung for south. And we've got chow potential in there. Let's go ahead and discard. Any of these are going to be equally dangerous. We're going to discard the west. Oh, that's Mahjong right here, west. So let's see here. South discarded that west. We'll put it over here. Chow. Chow. Pong. And we have another chow. There we go. Half flush. They got close to a full flush. They only have a pair of honors here. A half flush is a great hand. The challenge is there are three numbered suits, cracks, bams, and dots, but you have four players at the table. In this case, three players were going for a half flush with cracks. So it took a while to get to that half flush. You gotta keep an eye on those discards and you can tell that there were not many cracks out. So, You've got to draw well in order to make that happen. And in this case, it worked out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell after that so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.